So I'm here to give a longer update on the situation where I went to Los Angeles uh, out at a club with my girlfriend and um, an Air Force officer walked up to me and grabbed my ass. He did this several times, at least two, um, definitely um, unmistakably. Um, <clears throat> how do I know he was an Air Force officer? Um, because so many military men literally think that because they wear the uniform, they are God's gift to the world, that they're a motherfucking Avenger when so many of them could not be fucking further. As a matter of fact, most of them could not be fucking further from an Avenger, from the worst Avenger that you can think of. Whoever the fuck your worst Avenger is, they're worse than that. Um... <clears throat> And, um, and are, and, and cannot stop boasting about what they do, um, and, and who they are. And so this guy literally gave me everything that I needed to identify him. And when I'm telling you that it was the most specific information, it literally just fell into my lap. It's really funny because he, he grabbed my, here's the old, he grabbed my ass it was like at the end of the night, at like 2 a.m., you know, when they're, they're shuffling everybody out. And he's like, come home with me, baby. Like, grab it, like, so close to my pussy, guys. Like, right there. And um, <clears throat> he's like, I'm an Air Force captain. And I'm like, oh, really? And like, I was kind of an Air Force captain, too. I, I was selected for promotion, but I never pinned on. I decided to piece the fuck out. And, like, I left as a first lieutenant. And he's like, no, really? And I still have um, an ID on me. And so I showed it to him. And he backed off for a minute. And he was like, okay. Oh, oh, oh wow. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we make it outside the club. He and his friend make it outside the club. I'm, I'm calling a lift. Like, we're, we're about to go home. And he's still coming up to me. And he's still touching on me and everything. I'm just like, no, stop it, please. His friend, his friend is doing everything that he needs to do. Like when your friend is drunk and touching on someone, touching on a woman. Like his friend is doing everything, to his credit, everything that he's supposed to, to be doing. Like being very careful about the situation because a drunk, an inebriated person can turn violent. And I don't know what this guy's deal is, you know what I mean? So... His friend was doing everything that he should do and constantly apologizing for him. Um, <clears throat> but this guy just won't stop. Um, and, uh, he, and he just keeps on yelling out information. Like, I'm an I fly F-16s, baby. I'm a fighter pilot. I'm a fighter pilot, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> and, um, and something moved me to, to ask this question. Having gone to this institution and graduated, um, I asked, I'm like, um, did you graduate? Did you graduate from the Air Force Academy? Uh, because I don't know, for those of you who are not, um, <clears throat> n have no knowledge in the ways of like officers and shit in the Air Force and just in the military in general, this, the stereotype, which, very often turns out to be true is that Air Force off Academy graduates, officers that are Academy graduates tend to turn out the worst, like the, the douchiest. Of course, I like uh, so many of my friends that graduated from the Academy, including myself, I would be <laughs> myself in there, like are good people, but a lot of just awful officers come out of the Academy. I can attest to that. And so, um, I, so I asked him, that and uh sure enough he was like yeah i went to the academy went to the prep school too another identifier that's two identifiers one question and um i'm like oh what year did you graduate and he's like 2017 squadron 21 and i'm like hmm i graduated squadron 5 um 2014 i was a freshman in 27 which means that i was your firsty I was your fucking senior. I helped to organize your classes hell week. I wiped your ass as a fucking freshman, basically, when I was there. Like, seriously, what are the odds that the one woman that this grimy little motherfucker decided to touch is literally not only an Air Force veteran, when, but so specifically went to his school, was his senior, and 
No, it was all the, not only all the right questions to ask, accidentally, by the way, because it's not like he grabbed my ass and I was instantly like, I'm going to ruin this man's life. It was more like when, when you get grabbed by any, when a woman gets grabbed by any man, the thoughts that all already naturally come up, like the fight, flight, or freeze. Um, so I'm, I'm frozen basically. And just like, you know, just the, the, just the, the, the immediate disgust and, and slight bit, bit of fear. And in my case, some triggering, um, you know, and so I'm just, I'm, I'm like, maybe the Holy Spirit, <laughs> The Holy Spirit moved me to ask all of these questions because um, I got all of this information. I think that's that's it. And then I obviously the way that he looked, a uh, short Asian guy, probably no taller than me. Um, before before we left, like he 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 brought me in for a hug and then grabbed my ass again and I gave him a light little Spartan kick away as me and my girlfriend got into our lift. And then the next day, that experience was still emblazoned on my head. Like I said, it's not something that ruined my life. It's not the first time I've had my ass grabbed, which is a really sad thing. Like, it's not the first time. You know, when a woman goes through this, like, it's not the first time I've been technically sexually assaulted, and it won't be the last. Um, but I'm sitting there ironing my suit for uh, the panel that I'm about to speak on at Comic-Con. I'm just like, I'm so tired of this, you know, because as many of you know, I'm a victim of uh, military sexual trauma, a crazy freak case that went on like for a, a long time. And I'm like, I'm just so tired of feeling helpless and, and, and just like accepting that this can happen. And the fact that this guy is a fucking officer, Air Force officer with, you know, pretty, oh, like pretty middle of the road officer rank. Like, you know, like this is just awful. But then I realized that I'm no longer Lieutenant Robinson, um, <clears throat> uh, a, a black woman. Uh, that can easily be ignored, just another uniform, just another, you know, possible casualty. I'm no longer Lieutenant Robinson. I'm Nikki fucking Marina, and I have almost, I have about a million and a half followers on TikTok, 200,000 on YouTube. Like, def like, I have a platform. I'm not helpless anymore. And, um, and I have all of these identifiers, very, very specific. It's not like I'm about to sick people after some general descriptor. I'm like, no, these are very specific descriptors. So I posted a video on TikTok. Um, it went pretty viral, pretty fast. And y'all found him, <laughs> um, <clears throat> followers. I don't want to say him. I Followers found a name based on all of the descriptors that I gave. And I really hope that this is the right person. Um, you know, I don't want to ruin the wrong man's career. Um, but number one, the Air Force is pretty small. And when you give that many descriptors, um, there's literally only like, you, you, it, that's probably the guy. And, um, and number two, um, I dare say that, um, the inconvenience of having to clear your name uh, from something that you didn't do sucks. But at, but as someone who has been abused in many ways, I don't think it can really compare to the lifelong pain and suffering that an assault victim can experience. So it's a risk that I'm willing to take. It's some heat that I'm willing to take. Um, the Air Force Office of, of Special Investigations reached out to me and asked if my followers had found... Uh, a name. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm like, wow, congratulations. You guys, TikTok detectives are official, officially better detectives than the Air Force Office of Special Investigations. Hilarious. Um, so <clears throat> I did respond to them and told them all this shit. Um, I'll have to post the letter <laughs> or at least the parts that I can, I, I can, um, I'm show. Uh, I gave them all my information, like m all my Air Force background. If you want to check to see who I am, that I'm not making this shit up, that I really am an Air Force Academy graduate, here it all is. 
And I basically told them um, in my way, in my fucking language, because I'm not an officer anymore. I don't give a fuck. Um, and I can eloquently use curse words as much as I want. Um, but I basically told them, I'm like, I, I, I highly doubt that y'all are even going to do anything about this guy because you didn't do anything when I was going through it, when I was a fucking officer. And not only my career was in jeopardy, but my fucking life when this woman was harassing, stalking and threatening me on a, almost, on a weekly basis, if not daily. No, no one did anything then, and I doubt you're gonna do anything now. I really hope that they call my fucking bluff. I let them know that base almost every Air Force woman that I know has been sexually assaulted, and then abandoned or ignored by the institutions in the Air Force that are supposedly put in place to protect us. And so I told them that I think that your commitment to ensuring the safety of your members based on protected class, like race, gender, sexual orientation, etc., is part of my French bullshit. And uh, please pardon my French one more time <clears throat> when I say that offices such as yours, equal opportunity, inspector general, etc., sexual assault, the sexual assault uh, response coordinator, um, you need to do fucking better. You need to do fucking better. And, um, and again, like I said, this little fucking dude grabbing my ass, um, didn't ruin my life, you know, uh, like, like other incidents have, other experiences have, like, this is small potatoes, uh, compared to what I've been through, um, that what any given person, um, uh, can go through. This guy didn't ruin my life at all. But as I told the Office of Special Investigations, OSI, uh, I wish that someone had held my commander uh, accountable for her abusive behavior in her earlier years as a younger officer before she went on to be a commander and subsequently ruined the lives of enlisted personnel and officers and then me years before she even met me and while she somehow this bitch found more than 24 hours in a day to fuck with me and destroy other people's lives and careers i wish someone had held her accountable um and so behavior like this it's especially from a man, especially from an officer, and especially from an officer that graduated from the United States Air Force Academy where toxic masculinity w runs rampant and white privilege is at its widest. Um, there's, um, <laughs> which is funny because he's not even, he's not even white, but he is a man. And um, it, it's very likely that he not only has done this before, maybe he's done worse. And maybe if I didn't say anything, he would go on to do the same thing to another woman or worse. Or worse. Because this guy was not threatening to me. He was small to me. And, like, I have a green belt in Taekwondo. Like, I, 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 I could have stepped on this guy if I wanted to. I chose not to. Uh, um, but I don't know if he will act like that again, and maybe he will meet a woman that can't overpower him, that's not confident that they can overpower him, that he can overpower a woman, most likely, that does not have the platform I had. And maybe, if he continues to do even worse, perhaps like I did long ago, those women would hope, would wish that somebody spoke up when he was doing petty crimes <laughs> like this. So, <clears throat> that is the situation. Um, I am about to post a TikTok about it and then direct people to uh, hear if they want to know the entire story. Um, but that is what happened. That is the deal. And... Um, like I said, I, I, I molded over whether or not I was going to do this or not. I'm like, it's, you know, uh, is it worth it? Like, it, it, like I said, it didn't ruin my life. But the thing, like, but the fact that, the fact that somebody touching me in my private fucking parts in, immediately in my mind came up as no big deal is a problem. And um, that gave me my answer consulting with my girlfriend Am I overreacting? She's like, fuck, no, you're not. Um, <clears throat> and so that's why I did it. 
and I hope they find him. And I hope that this is an example and a learning lesson to <laughs> to men in uniform, to men in, men in general, and anyone of any gender that is an abuser, but especially men, because this is a man's world, and some of y'all niggas really fucking know it and really capitalize on that power, that you might mess with the wrong fucking one. It's probably best to just not be problematic and not touch people when you're not supposed to. It's probably safer for you to, you know, be an upstanding citizen and respect other respect women's fucking bodies because one day you might run across the wrong one like this guy did. It, it like it must have been divine intervention to run across not only a woman with a similar background as him who went to the same school but with a platform. Okay? Um I'm not the one and um, no one should be the one. No one should be a prime fucking target for you to harass, to assault. I hope that by watching this shit go down, that some of y'all are scared to death that this could happen to you. Because if you are truly scared to death, that probably means that you know that you've done some questionable shit. And that you're probably lucky that no one has done what I've done to this guy. I really hope so. I hope the fear strikes you. Because when I walk outside as a woman, I have to be afraid all the fucking time. I have to be afraid. And the more... <laughs> and the better my face is be and the, and the nicer my outfit, the more scared I am. Because that makes me more of a target to dusty ass men. So I have no sympathy really. I have no sympathy for, you know, a man that might be scared of, of this, honestly, right now, because, because every time we step outside, our lives are in danger. That's a step up from reputation. And most assaults and, and, and such just don't go reported because we know that you won't do anything that no one will, that people won't do anything, you know? Um, but if there's one thing that the armed forces hates, it's bad press. And fortunately I was able to provide bad press very quickly. Not only me, but all of you, my followers who did the fucking work and, and found a name. Like I said, we'll see if this is the name, but, um, this is, yeah, this is the deal. So, so there you guys go. I'm going to go on with the rest of my day. Um, probably Papa Xanax because this has been a bit triggering for your girl a little more than uh, I expected. And so I'm going to go do some self-care. I will keep you guys updated as more things happen. So thank you very much. And I'll see you later.